Sophie Sager. I have terminal brain cancer. I am here beside you. I want to do this work of singing at the bedside of people who are dying because I feel very strongly that death is a, a very real part of life and we can't just ignore it. May peace be when I go to the bedside, it is an opportunity to be in a very sacred space with someone because you are there with a person in their most intimate time. May love be They're going through their own questions about, why me? Am I going to see tomorrow? They're reflecting in a way that is very pure. Kate Munger. I'm the founder of the Threshold Choir. In 1990, I was asked to fill in a volunteer slot for a friend who was dying of HIV AIDS. It was very distressing to see him comatose and agitated. So I did what I did at the time when I was nervous or afraid and I started singing. I watched him calm, settle, get positively serene, and I calmed settled and got positively serene and it felt that I had discovered something or rediscovered something an ancient practice that tribal humans do for one another when someone's struggling it's helped with relieving some of my pain some of my physical pain in my head I just smile a lot my grateful heart. I came close so to death. I had a brain tumor that was very large, and it was a pretty scary time. And I came out of that surgery blind and unable to walk. And I had an opportunity to decide, OK, what am I going to do now? You know, if I get better, I'm going to do something, something important. I always loved to sing, and I heard there were these people that sang to people who were dying. And I thought that was the most incredible thing I'd ever heard. I got a little little um, shiver up my spine, and I went, oh, I've got to go do this. See when they hear that first sound, especially when they hear the harmonies, me. it's a visceral experience. It's full body um, absorption of vibration. Would you like some more songs? Or is sure. that enough? Okay. You can see that they begin to breathe more easily. And it's just a feeling that they are relaxed and comfortable. And when they are feeling that way, you feel better. And it's just a reciprocal energy that goes back and forth. I believe that our purpose as human beings is to be givers however however we can we go through the hardships of life we go through the beauty of life we take all the energy and we find a way to give and help others so i'm proud of them we sing Mostly small songs that are written by the choir members. People who don't do it don't get it. They just don't, you know, they're like, why are you doing that? And what I think what they're terrified of is actually seeing somebody who's dying. Namo, namo. Most of us think of death as an event, but when I have seen people in their dying, it's a process. I've been able to at least watch the process in others and ask myself, how will I do it? Which I never would have had that conversation ever. I would have just sat in the fear. Rest easy. A song can be a bridge from the purely physical, temporal body experience that we have for many years 
to what lies beyond. Let every trouble drift away. Doing this work has made me feel more alive and more into being in the moment. And I hope that at some point in the future when I am on the threshold, someone will come and sing to me these beautiful, peaceful songs. We are all just walking each other home. When they come to sing, we are is an act of love and support, which is what I need most in my life right now. Okay. We are 